biggest sporting event of 1965, Bobby Simpson leads the touring Australian team on the second leg of their Caribbean series, regarded as the World Cricket Championship. The fact that they were beaten at Jamaica in the first test did not dampen the spirits of the visiting cricketers. Grout, Laurie, Thomas, Allen, Australian reporter Tressida, Booth, O'Neill, Main and Mackenzie, Laurie and Trimble, Shepherd. Obviously a happy team eager to come to grips again with the powerful West Indies side with the hope of squaring the series. Comes the big day, Queen's Park Oval, Port of Spain. The Australians, choosing the same 11 that lost in Jamaica, take the field after Simpson won the toss and invited the West Indies to bat first. Mackenzie bowling the first over to Hunt from the farm end. Outside the off stump, Hunt, never rash, never worried, pads up. He allows this one to go by also. Mackenzie in. Hunt guides it through gully. And the batsman run two. Hunt, solid as ever, moves well behind this one. In comes Mackenzie. And Hunt executes a lovely fluent drive between extra cover and mid off. Three runs. And Brian Davis now has the strike. A hush falls over the ground as young Davis playing before his home crowd faces his first ball in test cricket. Outside the off stump, Davis pads up. Now it's Hawk to Hunt from the pavilion end. First ball moving away. Down the leg side, Hunt again leaves alone. Hawk to Hunt. This one is played forward a square leg. Another delivery from Hawk and Hunt is again right over it. He seems to be well in command, even at this early stage. A single off this ball and the Trinidad crowd, keen sports lovers, are eager for runs to flow. Now Hawk to Davis. Four buys and the score, none for ten. The score, none for ten runs, went on to a fine century partnership. Hunt, the senior partner in action, towards that unbroken century. Square cut off Mackenzie. A vicious hook off Maine. Well, not the kind of shot that Hunt would be proud of. A dab through the slips. Four runs. And Hunt's 50. Now Davis in action, a turn to leg. Philpot bowling, a flowing off drive. Philpot again. Davis turns him neatly to leg for a single. Philpot bowling leg breaks and googlies. Forward defensive shot by Davis which kills the spin. And Conrad Hunt dealing with another Philpot delivery. Mackenzie from the farm end to Davis. 
This one played back along the wicket. Mackenzie, a great trier, bowls. From a gentle guide through gully. One run. Now it's Hawk. And Davis produces a force in cut shot. Yes, that's Kanai, taking a single off Philpot with an on drive. Although not in his best form, Kanai is always a big favorite with the crowd. Just look at this extra cover drive off Mackenzie. A shot that brought him three runs. A glance to leg. This one off Mackenzie is to the right of Laurie at midwicket. Now Simpson to Kanai, a square cut, no run there. Kanai seems to be finding his touch. Cowper to Kanai, but he's out caught at the wicket. This let him butcher the informed batsman. Butcher back driving Philpot through the covers for four. Philpot to Butcher. Square at this time, which brings four more. Simpson to Butcher. Off drive, more runs. Simpson again. A flick wide of mid on. One run. Butcher, top scorer with 117, facing O'Neill. On drive again, another single. Always on the lookout for quick runs, this Butcher. A single taken off Mackenzie from a square drive. Now Sobers, a turn to leg. into the covers for yet another single. Sobers fails to make proper contact with this pull-off Simpson and the ball runs out to fine leg. Simpson from the pavilion end and Sobers turns it off his pads. Two more runs. Sobers, looking set, proceeded to thump the bowling before he was run out through a misunderstanding with Butcher. But the West Indies went on to score 429 all out. Now paced like fire, eight West Indies fieldsmen crouched around glory as Hall bowls the first ball from the farm end. A long run up. But Laurie plays quietly on the onside, taking no chances. Paul, smooth run up, nice, easy action, finds the edge. But the ball falls short of Sobers at second slip. This one, wide of the wicket. Where's Hall on the run? Laurie plays at and misses an away swinger. The last ball of the over. Defensively played and Hall himself feels. The burly Charlie Griffiths to bowl to Simpson from the pavilion end. Griffith's ability to get the ball to lift off a good length had the top Australian batsman in trouble. Griffith to Laurie. He gets an edge. Davis at slip accepts the catch. And the Aussies are one down for 15 runs. You missed that? 
Well, here it is again, captured in slow motion. Passed by the umpires in this tour, Griffith was later called a chucker by a few of the Australian players and at least one Australian sports writer. Watch closely as Griffith York Simpson. Australia, two for 60. A menacing looking paceman is Charlie. He approaches the bowling crease, completely swinging his arm before delivery. And bang! How would you like to be at the receiving end? Well, neither would I. No relief for the Aussies as Hall bowls. Under close scrutiny by the critical English umpires during the victorious 1962 tour by the West Indies to England, Griffith was given a clean slate in all matches. Has he changed his action since? Perhaps Law 26, the law which deals with fair and unfair delivery, has been interpreted in different ways by different people. But the authority to no ball any bowler for an infringement surely lies with the umpires, the sole judges of fair and unfair play. It would be a good thing for the game of cricket on the whole if interpretation of the laws was left to the umpires. Charlie Griffith's figures were three for 81 in this second test match. The game was drawn, but the West Indies went on to win the series by two games to one with two drawn. A fine victory as we look forward to England in 1966.